Today I'm going to show you how to paint this watercolor portrait painting of a young girl. If you are already an Enjoying Art Learning member, please come to Patreon to see the full version of this lesson. I'm going to plan on the composition. Just for the drawing, you can use any light colors. Thinking about that probably the face, this would be the head, and the hair on the top. Let's open it a little bit. And you can make changes. The ponytails, more than half the space, the hair. And then the ear, we're going to do wet into wet for this first step. We have a lot of those colors the last time we use it. Get a little bit red. Okay, we're going to do that from the top. And because the hair is actually darker than the background, I don't need to worry about reserve uh, the space for the hair. I'm going to get a little bit blue color. I saw there's some interesting blue color over here. Watch the outline, the surface of the face. So make sure I am not painted too much into the face area. I'm gonna get a little red color over here too. And on the top over here, I'm gonna make it look like a little bit green color by adding a little yellow color into the blue. Okay. There is a little soft light color over here. So I clean my brush and also can paint it through the hair area. And on this side, the top I'm going to make it a little bit darker by mixing with the blue color and the red color together. So I'm going to make this color a little bit darker. And my paper is tilted 10 degree water is going to running down as expected. I'm going to leave the face area untouched. Now I'm going to see whether or not I need to lift up any colors. Should be do it right at this step. Maybe over here, let's see. Suggesting there is a box in the background, a little lighter. Let's work in the face now. I mean, this is colors very close to the color that we're looking for. Let's see. We're going to put this color in here. This side a little bit darker. It's the shadow side. Let's see, have a little blue colors because here I'm going to paint it into what we are doing now, create a structure which is where is this coming in, what's coming out, where is this turning. Those are important structure. When I'm looking for the shapes, the colors, and the light and dark, I don't see the eye. I'm seeing the, the shape, the colors around the eye at this point because you're looking at the eye, it will affect the way that you see things. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a little bit yellow color right here. Put that little yellow color over there. I'm going to make it a little softer. This area is getting dry. I want to get the dark color. I'm just use these two colors, the pleasant blue and the Windsor red. And this is the ear. And now going to uh, the hair coming up. Now look and paint. And then the ponytail. Now I'm going to come down to the scarf and the dress. I'm going to use a little smaller flat brush. I have this one as a half inch. Now let's see. I'm going to get a little yellow color. I'm going to first just Put a little bit yellow color right here at the scarf and make it the scarf a little bit simpler. Now I bring the little red color into the yellow color and that create the orange color. Create the rough structure. Uh, what I want to do, I'm going to create a little bit highlight on the hair by lifting up the colors, just like an eraser when you're doing charcoal or graphite drawing, only for the area at the front. So I take out a little bit of color and just give a few indication. Lots of times, many things you can do it with a big brush that you don't have to with uh, the small brush. Now what I want to do now, I'm going to get into uh, the details. First, 
I'm going to deepen the darker color first. OK, I'm going to over here. I'm going to keep it even darker. And now coming down the side bun. A couple dry brush. That's good. And now I'm going to work into the eye. I'm going to add. There will be a couple layers because you see inside the eye kind of a dark color tone, blue colors. So what I want to do, I'm going to first working on this eye. That's the shape. It's the iris. And then come to this side. Now we're going to do the nose. The nose looks like a, a red brown colors. So I'm going to take this color first, a little bit lighter, from lighter to a little bit darker. And right here, you can see that. And also we can do that under the eye is the lower eyelid. Now let's continue coming down to the mouth. Let's see. And then like that. We move that, make it a little bit lighter. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to add a little bit yellow color. When you look at the colors, there's only three colors. So one is red, yellow, and blue colors. I'm also on this side. I'm going to pick this, try to define uh, the edge of the nose. Because the nose is light. So what I want to do is I'm going to put the color next to it, like over here. I'm going to work in the structure of the ear and want to mix the red and the blue color together. This area, you want to see the big shape first before you see small shape. Now, so what I'm doing is try to create uh, the structure between the dark color and light color. Also, I'll try to build the edge. I want this to be a bit sharper edge around the ear. And I might be make this inside here a little bit lighter to suggest it. Now I'm going to come back to the face over here. Uh, we have this little suggestion. You can soften the outside, and this is good. And the edge over here should have a little bit darker color. Uh, they have a little bit darker, kind of look like a brown color. So I have these three color all together. So I'm going to have this a little bit. Now I'll come back to do the eye. We're almost there. So I'm going to get this even darker mixture from the red and the blue color. So I'm going to get a little bit red. And the darkest color actually have a little bit warmer. Now coming in here, top over here a little bit darker because they catch the shadow. Uh, now I'm going to have this iris coming there. And keep a little eyelashes. Like that. And coming to this side. Darker. Now the eye has a little bit more content, but the edge of the eye is a little bit warmer color. So I'm going to take this a little uh, warmer right from here. That's good. A little bit warmer, and then let it blend into the surrounding, not just the dark color. So I'm going to have it softly blending out. Now I come back a little bit to the ear, and yellow have a little bit red colors uh, to this area. I'm going to just get a little bit of red color right here, like that. Now I'm going to do this to come in a little more, fine tuning the colors, just showing where's the edge. Now is the time to add the dark color underneath the chin, right here. Okay, watch out the shape. Okay. A little colder color over here. Like that. And I'm going to do one more cleanup. 
uh, look a little messy in the background over here. Somewhere need to be get organized. Get a little bit blue colors, and I'm gonna have it a little soft color. And if it is blending into the hair, it's fine. No worry about that. And maybe a little bit warmer colors for the background here. Here you go, like that and maybe a little bit color coming over here. And I think this is pretty good. I get a little red colors and for the, maybe a little bit for the dress. And now the painting is finished. I'd like to introduce our learning community to you. All members can access to enjoying art workshops and collections of lessons. Paint With Me members can download the full-size reference photos for a better learning experience. VIP members can join the private Facebook group to share discussions of our learning with like-minded artists. Gold members can receive advice directly from me and receive video critiques and suggestions of your work. Please check below for the link to join us. We're waiting for you to become part of our Enjoying Art learning community.